Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a homemade solution for whitening your nails at home. Especially if you're like me and you like using really dark nail polishes. The one I have right now is by Wet n Wild and it's just a really dark fuchsia color. So as soon as I remove this nail polish, I'm going to have to do the treatment again. I don't use this treatment on a regular basis. Only when I use dark nail polishes and if I haven't used dark nail polishes then I do it every three weeks. So that's the routine I keep in regards to using the solution. So let's zoom in the camera so I can show you guys what the ingredients are. I'm going to begin by adding one tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of whitening toothpaste, any one of your choice will do great. 10 drops of any oil of your choice, I'm using jojoba oil. 10 drops of hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to mix the ingredients I have here so far and the consistency is very thick so it's not very easy to apply to the fingernails. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding from 30 to 40 drops of water. After adding the drops of water, just mix everything in and the consistency becomes perfect enough for you to add it to your fingernails. I'm going to be using an old nail art brush to apply the solution over my fingernails and I'm going to be doing the same thing to all of my fingernails. I notice it's easier to tap the solution over the top instead of brushing it on. More of it stays on the fingernail. And another thing is I like flipping my fingernail to the back part and also adding the solution to the back of my fingernails. Once you've added the solution to all of your fingernails, allow it to sit there for five minutes. After the five minutes are up, you're gonna use nice warm water to remove the solution. Just massage it off gently. Using a nail brush to clean out the back of the nails works fantastic. Once you've dried your hands, it's time to apply an oil of your choice. I'm using the jojoba oil. I also like using the oil over the back of my fingernails. Now it's time to massage the oil in, in a rounded motion going backwards. And I also like paying attention to each of my fingernails, just round and round over the cuticle area and around my fingernail. This just helps a lot. Nails love this. I don't wash my hands after this, I allow it to penetrate, but you can definitely also wash your hands before applying your base coat. I waited about 15 minutes and now I'm applying a base coat. Any base coat of your choice will work great. And I also like applying the base coat over the back of my fingernails. And that's it, now my fingernails are ready to be polished again. Other tips I can give you for keeping your nails as clean as possible is to always use a base coat. Always use a base coat before applying a nail polish. If it's possible, if you're gonna be wearing a dark nail polish, even apply two to three coats. That really helps a lot. Another tip is limiting the days you allow a dark nail polish to stay over your nails to about five days. And that just really cuts down on the nail staining unless, one thing I've noticed is that if I apply the two to three coats of base coat, it really helps keep my nails clean and I keep the dark nail polish on for longer. So that really helps out a lot. And then if you try this solution, it's just little by little gonna help your nails whiten or keep clean, as clean as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this solution a try. Let me know if you do and how it worked out for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you a homemade remedy to keeping your nice other tips I can give you guys for keeping your nails as wide as not worn. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a homemade... I did that part so good the first time. Ugh. Ecological, because you can't even see... Well, if you use French manicures... Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a homemade remedy for whitening your nails. For keeping them as clean as possible. Especially... <coughs> 
guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a home I'm recording. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be making oh, other tips I can give you other tips I can give you for keeping your nails as wide as other tips I can give you for keeping your nails as wide as possible. Um, I don't know if it's a schedule. The way I do it is that I what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Here you can see this dark nail polish I'm using. Oh yeah, and then you can see the yellow in the back. That is not good, no, no good. Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you a home man. 